More than 90% of all U.S. avocados are grown in California. About 40% of the state's avocado crops are grown here in San Diego County. But about 10,000 acres of avocado groves throughout the county have been lost due to drought and the increasing cost of water. Joining me with how a new planting method could double the yield while using less water is my guest, Gary Bender, Farm Advisor for UC Davis Extension. And Gary, how big of a threat is the drought for avocado farmers here in San Diego County? Oh, the drought is tough. It's, uh, the, and they're gonna require all the growers to cut their water back and grower, it, it, avocado likes a lot of water, unfortunately. And when they cut the water back, the, the trees basically go, almost go out of production. Uh, how much water, uh, how much is the water cost right now for farmers here in our region and, and how much has that increased over the past few years? Oh, our cost up, up in the Valley Center area is about $1,600 an acre foot. An acre foot is 325,000 gallons of water. So, uh, and it takes about usually around four acre feet. So they're, they're way over $5,000 uh, per acre. For and water, just for, for water, water. Just for the water. Mm -hmm. Now, as you're saying this, you know, avocado is a really thirsty crop. Um, how much water does it actually take to grow them? For a pound of avocados, it takes about 142 gallons. And we're trying to lower that amount. So uh, we, with our high density production, we're, we're achieving that. Let's talk about that. You finished a high density planting trial. Uh, over the last couple of years. How, how is this method different than traditional planting? Well, we are trying a 10 by 10 spacing. It was suggested a long time ago by a grower in Fallbrook, uh, Ruben Hofshi, who visited Chile, and they were trying this. So 10 by 10 spacing, but I added a, a, another a pollinizer tree in the middle of every nine, nine tree units. So I have a, a Zutano tree pollinating the Hass Zutano avocados aren't, aren't worth much, but. Okay, but it's <laughs> helping to pollinate. But let's talk about yes. this high density. What does that really mean? So the trees are, instead of a 20 mm. by 20 uh, area, they're planted in a 10, so you get more trees closer together? Yeah, traditionally we were on a 20 by 20, but the trees would uh, grow together and then fighting, start fighting for light and go up and people were harvesting very high in the tree and it was very slow and expensive. So we decided to do a closer spacing, a 10 by 10, keep the pr trees pruned at eight feet and uh, keep the trees pruned like a kind of like a fat Christmas tree. And so we get light all the way down to the ground on, the, on these and we have a little bit of separation in between these short trees and we put a lot of bees in there and uh, it's, it's a surprise. So it surprised the me. The results, so, so the results as far as let's start with the yield and then the water use. Yes, this is basically our first harvest and we've got, we got 13,600 pounds to the acre on our house and the normal county average yield is 6,500. 6, so we, we doubled the, the county average yield and we've also lowered the water. We use 2.6 acre feet and the normal is four acre feet and so now this is only one year in data. In a biology, you've got to have about five years of data to really, but it's exciting. This is, uh, this is something very interesting. So why less water if they're planted closer together? Are they sharing water sources? Uh, it, does it, is it because of the height? We, we think, this is my theory, I mean these tall trees are intercepting a lot of wind up there and they're, as, as they're blowing over the hill. We're short and we're, we're intercepting a lot less wind so they're taking up less water. Uh, can this high density planting, do you think, be used on other crops? Oh, it is, yes. They, uh, they've been doing it on apples and uh, olives. They're doing a very high density on olives, uh, mostly on flat ground. Uh, they can machine prune. We can't machine prune. This has to be hand pruned because we're up on these steep slopes. Right, but the, the harvest is lower to the ground, correct? Because you're, you're yes. making it more like a bush. All the harvest is done from the ground. We don't have to use ladders. Well, that could save some money, perhaps. It saves a lot of money. Now, uh, what kind of reaction are you getting from other uh, farmers, either other avocado farmers or other farmers in, in trying this out? Uh, it's interesting. I've got some growers trying it, and uh, they're, they're achieving some good success also. Uh, the, the key is the pruning, and we have to, we're working, the trial is actually a pruning trial. We're trying a couple different methods of pruning to keep these trees in shape. Uh, but a lot of our growers are older, and uh, they're, they've, they've lost money for the last five years, and so they've a lot of them turned the water off. That's why we've lost so many acres right now. I see. So when will we have more results on this? Oh, boy. Well, uh, I, I'm going to keep working on this. I, I'm an emeritus farm advisor right now. I retired, but I'm keep, uh, 
they made me the emeritus so I could keep working on this project. And the university is very clever, you know, they've figured Keeping out. Keeping you there, yeah, working yeah. on it. All right, <laughs> yes. well, we'll wait to hear more information on this for okay. all of us avocado lovers out there. Gary Bender, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Appreciate it.